And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Today I'm talking about a small expansion for Ultimate Werewolf. Werewolf is a party game that tons of people love to play. You can play with regular decks of cards, but the best version to buy, by far, is the Ultimate Werewolf Edition. This is just a small expansion that you can add to that one. Let's look at it. This is the classic monster expansion. Basically, it takes the classic monsters from movie history and incorporates them in the werewolf game. Each of them has special abilities, and I won't go into too much detail here because I want you to be able to get the expansion yourself and not make these cards up on your own. But I really like all of them. There's not a single one I think doesn't add to the game. My favorite is most certainly the teenage werewolf who's basically a regular werewolf, but he's so excited about being a werewolf that once per day, he has to actually say the word werewolf. Now, if players know this, he's in the game, then it becomes hilarious because everyone tries to avoid saying the word werewolf, which invariably leads to someone who's not this teenage werewolf saying werewolf, and everyone thinks they're guilty. It's, it's, it's a very humorous situation. The zombie can eat someone's brains each night, and that person can no longer vote which can make for some interesting situations. And if everyone's brains have been eaten by the zombie, then the zombie wins. Count Dracula is trying to get three wives each night. If he does so, he wins. The blob is on his own team. Each night, the person to the right of the blob is absorbed. I like Frankenstein's monster. When a player dies, he gets their special abilities. This is more of the, uh, one of the versions of Frankenstein. And when you lynch him, you get to kill someone else. There goes the, the whole lynch mob is based on Frankenstein. It's a monster, so I think that's a pretty neat idea. And you can get a lot of special powers, very useful. And then the mummy. He hypnotizes players each night, and they have to vote the same way he does, which can lead to some really big metagaming, because as you try to guess, did someone so vote? You know, I thought for sure they thought someone so was guilty, but they've been hypnotized. And, I, you know, it just really leads to some very thinking four layers into the game. Everything's explained in a very small little yellow rule book. It's six cards. Is it worth adding to your game? I think so, because I'm all about variety. And I think each of these are well balanced, play tested, and when I use them, they're a lot of fun. Thanks for joining us today. For more written, audio, and video reviews, as well as the number one board game podcast, check out the website at www.thedicetower.com. Until then, this is Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.